Fake news can be a dangerous form of miscommunication. It can spread like a cancer and cause confusion on a large scale. One fake news story can cause questions to arise in the general public and force us to reassess where we get our news sources from. I will attempt in this video to explain what it is and how you can prevent the spread of fake news. Fake news can affect anyone of any age, and it is up to us to stop it. I will also ask three questions. What is fake news? How can you identify fake news? And what can we do to prevent the spread of fake news? According to Dictionary.com, fake news is false news stories, often of a sensational nature, created to be widely shared or distributed for the purpose of generating revenue or promoting or discrediting a public figure, political movement, company, and more. In 2016, the United States of America went through a tumultuous election season, and in the chaos of the election, fake news was brought to the center of attention on social media and news outlets across the nation. Candidates for the Democrats and Republicans used it for their own purposes, attempting to persuade their followers by showing the other side as using fake news to get an advantage. Fake news is a dangerous tool, as it can spread misinformation across a large-scale audience and cause confusion. Fortunately, there are ways of detecting and eliminating fake news, and you can stop yourself from being tricked. Now, you don't stop fake news like this guy. Instead, I'm going to explain what fake news is, how to identify it, and what you can do to prevent the spread of fake news. Question 1. What is fake news? Before I begin, I need to explain what fake news is and where it comes from. Fake news has its origins in normal news. For the last 2,000 years of human history, people have told the news of certain events to other people or countries across the world. As time moved on, technology evolved and so did the methods used by humans to tell stories from all corners of the globe. Of course, we tended to dramatize or lie about certain stories, as at the time whatever sold the paper got people to tune in or buy an issue of the newspaper. Once television became mainstream, the news got its own time block to tell stories from nations on the other side of the ocean. Once the internet became mainstream, people could gain access to news in a matter of seconds, which is where we are at in the present day. As humans, we have a tendency to not like certain people, and we develop opinions over time. The 2016 election was no different, as according to Alcott and Jenskow, right after the election, following the 2016 election, a specific concern has been the effect of false stories, fake news as it has been dubbed, had begun to circulate on social media. CNN, Fox News, NBC, and even MSNBC attract different views and opinions. People watch these news channels and on the internet, so they can keep up to date with the news that concerns them. As Martin said, the Fox News effect in presidential elections grew from 2000 to 2008 because of a combination of increasing viewership and increasingly conservative slant on Fox News. No matter a person's political views, they should be respected. But this was not the case in 2016. Political rivalries ignited like wildfire, and some people took advantage of this by creating false news stories. According to Errol, Roy, and Visuji, new social technologies, which facilitate rapid information sharing and large-scale information cascades, can enable the spread of misinformation. The wildfire only worsened as political parties used the spread of fake news to portray the other side as using dirty tactics to get an advantage in the election. Question 2. How can you identify fake news? Now, fake news acts primarily in the background, specifically targeting people who are vulnerable to lies. After the 2016 election, fake news continued to be prominent, but over time faded. But with the 2020 election coming up in November, fake news may soon return. How can one trust their source of news if their news source has been called fake? Thankfully, there are ways of detecting fake news. Common sense is all a person really needs. For example, if an online article appears on your newsfeed and says dinosaurs attack Washington, D.C., the average person will know it's fake because A, dinosaurs have been extinct for 65 million years, and B, there is no technology currently available that can clone and produce a full-fledged dinosaur, and if there was, people would obviously know. However, not everyone is the same person, and some people don't have the ability to judge a story accurately. To combat this, newsrooms and media sites use official sources only, or a local source that can be confirmed at a later date. Question 3. 
What can we do to prevent the spread of fake news? People will still be biased and twist the story just enough to fool a certain audience. For over a month now, I have been working at a news station and I have learned a lot of good information when it comes to political views and the news. In the newsroom, we have to have a neutral bias when it comes to news, and we have to tell both sides of the story, and not just one, as this can lead to actual fake news. We can make mistakes, but these are unintentional. We use proper computer programs to make sure that our news comes from a proper and reliable source, such as the Associated Press, NBC, and CNN. I asked three of my fellow employees what they thought fake news was. One said, news that isn't right. Another said it is news that is published that is intentionally inaccurate, and one more said it is news that is not accurate, a fantasized story. There is technology that can detect and rid the internet of fake news. Liar, an algorithm used by the University of California, detects fake news. As said by Yang, instances in Liar are collected in a grounded, more natural context, such as political debates, TV ads, Facebook posts, tweets, interviews, news releases, and more. Conclusion Looking back at my research questions, this is what I found. Fake news is essentially false reports that are used for personal gain. Identifying fake news is relatively easy but can still be deceptive. By looking at where our news media gets its sources and looking for the correct information, we can find what is fake and what is real. By looking up the source of where your news comes from, you can tell if it is legitimate or a lot.